For another 20 minutes, Pauline Hanson sat in her place wearing that burqa until this moment came, the big reveal by the Senator of her face and her motive. We're now going to show you her question during question time. It was put to the Attorney General, George Brandis, and as you're about to see, he was quick-witted enough to answer it uh, and answer it with gl great clarity, but also, it must be said, unusually for George Brandis, let slip some emotion uh, towards a stunt that he said would have caused great offence to Muslims. Senator Hanson. I'm quite happy to remove this because this is not what should belong in this parliament. My question is oh, to... Order. Point of order, Senator um, Wong. Waiting the question. Thank you. Senator Hanson, your question. To Senator Brandis, the Attorney General. Senator Brandis, in light of our national security of this nation, will you your work place. with the... Will order you work on my left. To on actually my left. ban the burqa in Australia, considering... Order. Just a moment, Senator Hanson. I need to hear the question. So can I have some order on my left and my right? Senator Hanson, would you comment your question again, President. please? In light of what is happening with national security, there has been 13 foiled national threats against us with terrorism, three that have been successful, and Australians have lost their lives. Terrorism is a true threat to our country. Many Australians are very much in fear of it. Order. What I would like to ask on behalf of the Australian people, considering there has been a large majority of Australians wish to see the banning of the burqa. Our two former Prime Ministers, Order. Julia Gillard... Senator Hanson, the time for asking the question has been expired. Order on my left, Senator Dastiari. Senator Dastiari and Senator Macdonald. Attorney General, Senator Brandis. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Hanson, no, we will not be banning the burqa. Now, Senator Hanson, I am not going to pretend to ignore the stunt that you have tried to pull today by arriving in the chamber dressed in a burqa when we all know that you are not an adherent of the Islamic faith. And I would ca caution you and counsel you, Senator Hanson, with respect to be very, very careful of the offence you may do to the religious sensibilities of other Australians. We have about half a million Australians in this country of the Islamic faith, and the vast majority of them are law-abiding, good Australians, and if Senator Hanson, it is absolutely consistent with being a good law-abiding Australian and being a strict adherent Muslim. Now, Senator Hanson, for the last four years, I have had responsibility preeminently among the ministers, subject to the Prime Minister, for national security policy. And I can tell you, Senator Hanson, that it has been the advice of each Director General of Security with whom I have worked, and each Commissioner of the Australian Federal Police with whom I have worked, that, that it is vital for their intelligence and law enforcement work that they work cooperatively with the Muslim community and to ridicule that community, to drive it into a corner, to mock its religious garments, is an appalling thing to do, and I would ask you to reflect on what you have done. Order. 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 Order, Senators. Senators on my left, please resume your seats. Senator Wong, on a point of order. Um, uh, if I could, by leave, make a very short statement. Is leave granted? Yes. I Le think, I think the Senator Hanson Young, are you objecting to leave? I'm leave not granted? Senator Hanson Young. Oh, please Senator address Hanson, me. My apologies. Are you are you objecting to leave being granted? Yes, I am. Well, leave is not granted, Senator Wong. 
Senator Wong, leave has not been granted. A point of order, Senator Wong. Point of order. order. I make Senator a Hanson, point I'm listening of to a point order. of order first. Point of order, Senator Thank Wong. you. My point of order is this. Uh, if I had the opportunity, I would move to congratulate the Leader of the Government on that, of that statement. Well, and I make this point on behalf of all, all, all of us on this side of there, the chamber. There is, there is it is one thing to wear religious one. dress as a sincere act of faith. It is another to wear there it as a stunt no point of order, here in the Senate chamber. Senator Wong. Senator Hanson, are you asking your supplementary question? Or My supplementary, supplementary question is... Supplementary question. Is question. the Attorney-General aware that the... The burqa is not a religious requirement at all. I, my question is, will the Attorney-General then ban the burqa in this House for, for in future as a security risk? And also the fact is that the people of, of Australia have the right to see the face of a person that they elect to this parliament, and they are the person who is actually going to be making decisions in their parliament on, be, on their behalf. Thank you. Uh, before I call the Attorney-General, just in the purview of the presiding officers, not the Attorney-General, to determine what happens uh, as far as security is concerned within Parliament House, the Speaker and I have made arrangements that anyone who enters this premises with their face covered by whatever means is clearly identified prior to entering the building. And further, uh, the first thing I ascertained when you walked into the building dressed as you in the, the chamber dressed as you were, I wanted to ascertain who you were, and that was verified to me. I make no further comment about the dress that you wore. Uh, Attorney General, do you have any uh, comment that you wish to make in relation to uh, that matter? Attorney General. No. Thank you. Uh, Senator Hanson, a final supplementary question. I will. If a person who wears a balaclava or a helmet into a bank or any other buildings or even on the floor of the court, they must be removed. Why is it not the same case for someone who is covering up their face and cannot be identified? Will the government make changes to these laws? Attorney General. No. So George Brandis very much taking control of the situation there after that stunt, to use the words uh, of Penny Wong and of Senator Brandis himself, uh, as well as participating in a standing ovation with Labor. The Greens leader, Richard Di Natale, uh, also thanked George Brandis on the floor of the chamber for his response. Now, in a written statement, Pauline Hanson has since explained what this was all about, or why she attempted to do it. Uh, she says in this statement that she'd dressed modestly in a full burqa and she will later today be delivering a speech in Parliament calling for the government to ban full face coverings in public. She said she made the decision to attend Question Time in this mode of dress because she believed the need to ban full face coverings in public was an important issue facing modern Australia that needed to be discussed. So that was how that issue played out. Before we go back to Sydney, we do want to bring you an update from Nick Xenophon, though. It's happening right now on Media.